Welcome to Storied, a video series of the Presbyterian Church. The church isn't a building, it's a people. People with a storied past and a bright vision and everlasting hope for the future. This series seeks to illuminate the stories and experiences of just some of the people that share in the life and ministry of our congregation. It is the hope of our staff and session that these short videos will help to connect us one to another, as well as encourage and strengthen our fellowship in these strange and challenging days. I'm Brittany Tamminga, one of the pastors of the Presbyterian Church here today with Connie Barnes. Connie, thanks for joining me today. Oh. Let's dive right in. Tell us okay. a little bit about yourself. Where did you grow up? I grew up in lots of places. I, I was born in Pennsylvania, but I only lived there till I was a year old and we moved on my first birthday. Mm -hmm. Then I went to Detroit until I was seven or St. Clair Shores in that area mm -hmm. and moved from there to Granite City, Illinois which is a, near St. Louis, and lived there 10 years, and moved from there to Omaha, Nebraska, where I stayed another 10 years. And I've lived in Cleveland, Ohio twice. I've lived here twice, and I've lived in Birmingham, Alabama. Wow, that is a lot of moving around. <laughs> what, what was it in your childhood that took you so many different places? My, my father worked for the Boy Scouts of America. Oh, so wow. Was, wow. What so did he do for them? He was an ex... When, for most of the time, he was an executive of the council where we lived. So mm -hmm. he was the top guy. And I could never explain that as um, people would say, well, what does your father do? Well, he works for the Boy Scouts. Well, does he wear those green <laughs> uniforms so when he's at camp or when he's mowing the lawn? That's when he wears his green stuff. And other than that, I can't tell you what his job is. <laughs> and then when I was in high school, when we moved to Omaha, he did, he was a, in their physical arrangements, so he planned and um, did Boy Scout camps, designed Boy Scout camps. Wow. And he was here for the first jamboree in AP Hill for the first two and built the amphitheater when the jamboree used to be here. Wow. So oh, that's, that's really we neat. Moved around. Yeah. And tell me, did you have siblings? Yes, I have an older brother. He lives in uh, Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And my sister um, has moved here about two years ago. Must She's, be nice to be close. Yeah, we're a mile apart and we see each other a lot, which we never did before. So it is, it's a different time. <laughs> That's great. Now you have a lot of family nearby. Yes, you want to tell do. us a little bit about your uh, extended I, relations? Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I have three children and they, I am blessed to have them all live right in this area. And all three of them are married and I have six grandchildren that I see a lot. That's incredible. And you get to spend a lot of time with them. Yes, I do. That's great. That's great. What do you love about being a grandmother? Oh, gosh. It's the best thing in the world. <laughs> it's just their love for me. You know, mm -hmm. it just brightens you when Killian will run and go, Mimi, or Mimi's car, Mimi's car. And, you know, people have said here when my one, the other two or the other three will come in and will see me at church and come in and give me hugs. And it's just wonderful yeah. and be part of their life. That is wonderful. What a gift. And are you Mimi to all of them? No, I'm Grammy to everybody. I had started out as Grammy, and then I, when Lena was born, I was Gee, and that was changed to Grammy Gee, and that was just Grammy for them, too. But Killian has chosen to call me Mimi, and I'm the only grandparent he really calls anything right now, or the only grandmother that he calls anything right now, and I am Mimi. And any red SUV is Mimi's car. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Now tell us a little bit about your professional life. <clears throat> I taught school in Nebraska, and then I stayed home for 12 years. Didn't teach for 12 years. And then when we moved back here the second time, I started to teach for Spotsylvania County. And I taught at Brock Road for 26 years. Uh -huh. and then retired too but I do um, reading remediation at Harrison Road, so I didn't retire all the way. Not, not fully. Yes. Okay. Now, we are in a room that some people in the church may not have ever stepped foot in. Can you tell us a little bit about our location? Oh, this, this is so much nicer than the first one. Um, when they did the addition to the building, we were moved to Bruce's office. This used to be Bruce's office, and um, I've been... I've been doing this job since 1991. 
And what job is that? The um, superintendent of mm -hmm. Sunday schools. That's great. Yeah, and we are so grateful that you have been doing that job for this <laughs> long. Um, and for those in the church who haven't set foot in, maybe next time they're at church, they'll swing by the church school supply room. There's, it's, it's well organized at the moment, and there's a lot of fun stuff in here. Uh, now, how long have you been a member of the church, Connie? Well, since, you know, I'm not over 30 years mm -hmm. because it was, I think I was back a year or maybe two before I started to do this job. Um, we had been a member, my family was in the church for three years before that. We moved away for two and came back. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a bit. Yeah, that is a long time. And you've been involved in a lot of different yes. things. Can you tell I, us? I, I'm sure you can't gosh. list them all, but <laughs> why don't you begin telling uh, us a little bit about I, responsibilities that you've had? Well, I've, I taught Sunday school, and then um, I've worked with Bible school both when my kids were little and now with my grandchildren. Mm -hmm. um, I have been in the bell choir for many, many years and the choir, um, gone on high school mission trips mm -hmm. and adult mission trips and um, gone to Montreat with the high school kids several times. Mm -hmm. so, circle, can't forget my circle, that's, that's important. I think that's other than being an elder. <laughs> a lot of responsibilities. And and you were on the APNC that called me to the yes, church. Yes, I was. Yeah. 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 You were you were one of the first people I, I got to meet of this congregation. Uh, how, how has sharing in the ministry of this congregation been meaningful to you over the years? I can't, I can't imagine my life without it hmm. because it has blessed me in so many different ways. This mm -hmm. is where my core of my friends are, mm -hmm. and um, school was work, but church is church, and to have that connection here, and to know that this is a place where I can come and um, be supported mm -hmm. and support other people, it's just wonderful. And we have a marvelous congregation. We, we certainly do. And what, what a gift to be part of this community, especially in, in times like these. What, what has quarantine been like for you? The first six weeks, I didn't go anywhere or see anyone because I had pneumonia at that mm -hmm. time. I had been diagnosed with pneumonia. And um, so that was tenuous. Yeah. And, and just, you know, to have, to wave at your grandchildren was mm -hmm. very hard. My daughter would cry, and you know, she dropped drop stuff off and would cry, you know. But um, after that, then it got mm -hmm. to be a little bit more normal. I, my circle of friends became my family. Mm -hmm. and that's not really hard, and then some really close friends. And basically, that's what I've done. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I stay home. I wear a mask everywhere I go. It's amazing but, how something as strange as this can almost become routine yeah. and feel somewhat normal after a while. And you look at everybody, and you even look at commercials. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got a mask yeah. on, so it's like wear your mask and wash your hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what? How have you been spending your time? I have. Um, I've read. Mm -hmm. uh, I've made masks for, for in the very beginning. I worked on making masks. Um, I've done a little bit of touch-up painting and that kind of stuff for the home. Drive all of my daughter's garage. <laughs> I'm sure she appreciated yeah. that. <laughs> and he's done that at my my son's house, help him move into a new house. So it's, you know, just anything to keep busy. Yeah, yeah. Apart from the beginning where you weren't able to, to see your family or to see friends and to see your grandchildren, are there any other pieces of this experience that have been particularly challenging for you? You know, I just look at it like, I've been, it's, it's, it's scary. Mm -hmm. I did not go to, I had a chance to go to a Florida vacation and I, I chose not to do that. Mm -hmm. And part of me regrets that and the other part says that might have been a smart move, but you know, no, we'll never know that for sure. Um, but I'm not weeping over not being at the beach. Mm -hmm. I missed being at a pool this summer. I'm yeah. used to going to the pool, especially with my grandkids, but I do that even when they're not there. And pools didn't open and I've missed that mm -hmm. a great deal. Um, but other than that, I go to the store. I might go to a store every other day, just mm -hmm. 
if I need something, I don't go like I used to and just hunt and peck and just go out. Mm -hmm. And other than that, I just keep with my close friends and yeah. I eat outside. If I'm going to go out to where I eat anywhere with anybody, we're outside. Right, right. That's my, my thing. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. It, is there anything uh, that you might share with viewers who will watch this? Something that someone might not know about you? I began to think about that. <laughs> going, I don't know of any, you know, most people know that I, I did play the cello. Oh. So that was well, I didn't that know that. Not, not many people did. Not mm -hmm. well, but I did do it for three or four years and when I was in middle school and the first oh. part of high school because it was my father's and he had played in the band in the war. Oh. And I wanted to play his his instrument. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. I think that's about the only thing. Other, most other people know that I sew and I do mm -hmm. drywalling and <laughs> fixing up of things. Yes. Yes. Now, where is that cello now? Oh, long gone. Long gone. Long gone. <laughs> yeah, it was it was in the 60s, and short skirts and cellos were not compatible, and it wasn't as cute as a flute. And carrying it back and forth to school was I imagine not it's fun. not easy. To... Yeah. Now, did you walk to school? Yes. Yes, so you, you really carried it back yeah. and forth to school. Wow. Wow. Well, uh, that's something I didn't know about you, so, so thank you for sharing nice. that. As you know, we hope to continue this series into the future, but for that, we need more guests. Who in the church has a story you think we should hear? I think Gary Vaughn or um, <clears throat> Steve Eccles. They're both my my buddies when we go on mission trips. Um, Mar I was thinking Marianne and Larry Casey. Mm. They have wonderful story to yeah. tell. And Or the McNats. They've been here for a real long time. Yes, they have. Yeah, so those yes, are they have. Yes, and there are... There's there's no limit to the number of stories oh in the gosh. church that I'm sure we haven't heard yet. So perhaps uh, some of those folks will be guests on a future right. episode of Storied, this video series of the Presbyterian Church. Connie, we thank you so much for taking time to share a small part of your story today. If you would like to connect with Connie, her information can be found through the member directory on the church website or through the Church Life app. If you would like to be featured as a guest on a future episode of Storied, we ask that you please be in touch with the church office. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, let us continue to uphold one another in prayer, remaining confident in the grace and mercy and goodness of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessing and prayers of peace to you all.